blessed and happy Saturday to all of you, mother friends, mother brothers and sisters, mother good people of God, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack, mother kababayan, today is October 28, 2023, and today is Saturday within the 29th week in Ordinary Time, Year A. And today also we celebrate the feast day of Saints Simon and Jude. Our gospel for today is from the beautiful and the wonderful account of the gospel of Luke chapter 6 verses 12 to 19. Our gospel for today speaks about the, the centrality of prayer in the life and in the mission of Jesus. Luke in today's gospel tells us that Jesus went out to the mountain to pray. And what is interesting is he spent the whole night in prayer to God. Can you imagine that gesture? Spending the whole night in prayer. He prayed the whole night because he need to make a major decision in his life. He will choose 12 apostles from his disciples. And what this example of Jesus is trying to tell us today. He spent the whole night in prayer. Three wonderful things or points that I would like to share with you today. Number one, any event of our life, small or big event, should be preceded by prayer all the time. But the friends, before you make any decisions in life, Consult God first in prayer. Do not decide unless you prayed for it. And that's what Jesus did. In short, pray first, then make a decision. Do not decide and then you pray. You know, that's not the point of the gospel for today. Pray first. The supremacy and the centrality of prayer in our life. When you plan to travel, pray. When you're searching for a job, pray. Before you engage a business, pray. Baranga election in the Philippines is coming. Before you choose your candidates, pray for it. Before anything else, pray. Why? Because a day without prayer is like a day without a blessing. And remember this, when prayer goes up, blessing goes down. And second, Jesus prayed the whole night. He spent the night in prayer because great multitude of peoples are waiting for him many people sick people troubled people troubled with unclean spirit and people with different needs and you know what my dear followers my dear brothers and sisters when we are connected to god through prayer god can use us as his instrument to make his power works because when we pray, we can do miracles. When we pray, we can be a source of blessings. Prayer can heal people. Prayer can drive out evil spirits. Prayer can calm people troubled with unclean spirits. Prayer can give people peace when they are in distress. Prayer can magnet people to God. Prayer can transform sinners. That's why, my dear friends, never underestimate the power of prayer. Don't be lazy to pray. Pray harder and harder. Turbo your prayer. Increase your time in prayer. Make prayer your habit. Be addicted to prayer. And finally, today, October 28th, we celebrate the feast day of Saint Simon and Saint Jude. Saint Jude, he is a patron saint of those 
who are hopeless and desperate. That's why if you are into a desperate situation, which you think it is impossible to happen, which you think there is no more solution, invoke the intercession of Saint Jude. Present your hopeless and desperate petition to Saint Jude. Other friends, always say a prayer. If you love and like this reflection, kindly share it with your friends so that many will be blessed. Amen.